Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Jimmy A Plays. We're resuming Final Fantasy VII on the PS4. I don't know if I got to save the last episode. I'm sure I did, but I'm going to do it just in case. Um, we're actually going to go to the um, Nibbleham, or well, however you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I ever get anything wrong. Um, but remember when the town got uh, burnt down and shit? Look at it. This is Nibbleham, right? But the town's all here. Yeah. You're trying to fool us? I'm not lying. I remember the intense heat of the flames. Um, yeah, so the town is not burnt down. Odd. Hi, welcome. Um, what's your story, dude? This town was supposed to have burnt down five years ago. What the hell is going on? Sir, don't say such awful things. I was born and raised in this town. What you say never happened. Ooh. Alright, we're gonna- Oh, sorry, sorry. Give me a room. Shit, you know what? I should get my player's guide. Let me check my room real quick for my player's guide. Hold on. So, I did find my player's guide box, along with my Nintendo Power and Gamer Informer, whatever it's called, magazines, all in the shoebox in my bedroom. I did find my Final Fantasy VII player's guide. Um, man, this is in rough shape. I wish I took better care of this. It's like held on by tape. Um... What I want to do is go to... Oh, went way too far. I'm going to go to this fight coming up. Totally optional. Um, I got to know what the hell to do. Nope, still a little too far, a little too far. All right, here we go. His name's Lost Number. And it says, this boss can be tough, but here's an easy, easy solution. Add Hoggle that I have to your party and set her limit breaks to level 1. She can use Seal Evil against Lost Number and paralyze it for most of the battle. While it's paralyzed, have Cloud and your other party members pummel it with strong spells. You should be able to knock it down half your size before it recovers from being paralyzed. If the purple size dies, the red, magic side, will begin casting strong spells against the party. If the red side dies, the purple side will assault you with constant physical attacks, which I think we'd rather fight the red side, to be honest with you guys. The red side of Lost Number is very resistant to magic. Fight the purple side with magic. Summon Chocomog. Where did we get that summon from again? We must have missed it. And you might be able to paralyze them again. If not, use Errors of Seal Evil, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, here we go. Which side lives and dies depends upon the last attack before the transformation. If the last hit is a spell, you'll face the red side. If the last attack is a physical blow, you'll face the purple side. Guys, I really think we should fight the red side. Ah, uh, I lost the page, shit. Alright, let's go on. Let's explore this town first, get any items, hear these fucking weird things. A man in a black cape. He's a tattoo number six. Hmm, he has something. Luck source. Must go to reunion. Alright, you crazy son of a bitch. I used to be I used to love players' guides. Um I got one for Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. I definitely need one for Majora's Mask. Obviously for this game. I think I have one for Dino Crisis as well. Um San Andreas I have one. All been very useful, but nowadays with the internet, it's like, up. Oh, hold on, Kizu's in the litter box. All right, she's finished. But like I was saying, um, now with the internet, unless you're collecting them, there's really no point in, in getting them. I mean, you're collector items nowadays, so I mean, I. 
I don't know. The internet ru ruins it for me. It's hard to find a good um, player's guide or a strategy guide online from, from people, though. I found a good one for Final Fantasy V that I'm using, if I ever get back into that game. Luxworth. See, yeah, I talk to these um, freaks. They'll give you some items. And before I go into the Shinra Mansion, um, I should actually open this back up. Because there's a combination to the safe. Um, Alright, let me move this controller here. Now move the player's guide here. And my sheet bag hit the floor, guys. Like the bodies. Hit the floor. All right. So during um, Jimmy's story that we could not, I don't think we could grab any items except for one. If you want to embarrass Kitty, there's one item you can grab in the, in the past. It won't ruin it. I'm not gonna read any of that shit. Cause it's just, it's just guys talking about the reunion with Sephiroth and shit, and tattoos number eleven. It's actually kind of really important, but um, I don't know. This town is like optional. It's like totally optional. All you really have to do is just go right through it, go right to Mount Nibble, and do your shit up there. You know, play the piano here, which I don't think I need to do anything here. Check. Kitty's house, and you'll find that piano from Cloud's flashback. Remember the tune you played? I don't remember. Yeah, the guys in the black cape will give you items. Um, and Shinra's mansion is really the, the big thing here. Come on, talk to the motherfucker. Tattoo number four. Platinum Fist. Okay, there we go. That's a good one to talk to because it's Kitty's... One of Kitty's uh, weapons, so... And this player guy's in rough shape, guys. Here is Jimmy Ace house. Not anymore, motherfucker. What is it? I want to hear your story. I lived in this house until I was 14. No, but this town was burnt down. You're sick saying such things. Get out of here. Alright. So I know I've obviously... I've beaten the game, obviously. I know what happens. Um, I'm just a little puzzled by this part too, still. Thanks for the item, asshole. Maybe I'll figure it out, understand it a little bit more by playing through it again. Nice town, huh? You've been in business here for a long time. You're lying. Do you have anything to do with this town? Not being born and raised here. I was here until I was 14 and I don't remember you. It's not nice to lie. I mean, obviously, Cloud's uh, Jimmy A is really fucked up in the head, um, and he really, really went th went through some shit. I can actually go back to Cosmo Canyon. Should I do that and get another Materia HP plus? That's what I'm gonna do. But you know what? I'm gonna cut this part out. I'll see you guys. Okay, we're in Cosmo Canyon. I just want to get another HP plus material. I think it'd be a very wise idea to get as many of those things as I possibly can get. Um, and then we will take on Lost Lumber, which he is a motherfucker, guys. He's making me nervous. And I think I'm okay with my level at this point in the game. I'm still nervous about this guy, because I usually fight him when I'm way stronger. Thank you. 
Oh, oof. Oof. That's good. I don't want to buy two of them. Give it the bits for now. I will hear everybody. And let's head back to Nibbleham. We'll save it outside of town, guys. I'll see you over there. Alright, we are back. Um, I actually forgot to save it. Let's save it over here, then we'll go into the mansion. Make sure I'm prepared, guys. I am nervous! So let's go up to the safe. Um, you can actually find the numbers throughout the um, mansion somewhere, and you can write them down. Or just, you know, for me, I'm just gonna look at the player's guide. Or look on the internet, guys. It's, you know, totally up to you. Bits, is it cheating if I use the player's guide? Because I know you use the player's guide. Enemy launchers is for uh, bits. Not, not worth to have. I and mean, it opens up more materia, but I lose my attack, so I'm gonna pass on it for now. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. This is the safe where you fight them at. You gotta put the numbers: right 36, left 10, right 57. I'm sorry, right 59, right 97. And I gotta be quick, so I may not get this right the first few times. Uh, let's do it. Right, 36. 20 seconds. I can't go past the number, by the way. Hit the X. Left 10. Right 59. Right 97. Three seconds to spare. That is Freak's, um, I think it's ultimate limit attack. Once I learn all of his limit attacks from one through three, I can give him that. And he will learn his. I think that's his. <sighs> Alright guys, here we go. If I die, oh well. But there's a key in there that we need to get Vincent. And this guy's a mo- look at that big motherfucker, guys. I wonder if I can put him to sleep. Oh, here's the blade beam. Hold, let me get, let me write this down. I think I'd rather be attacked with um, magic. Then attack with um, his physical attack because his physical attacks are never fucking brutal, guys. I want to see if I can put him to sleep. Nope, doesn't work. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna pummel him with magic until he uh, transforms to the um, magic monster. As I mentioned before, it's probably best to fight this motherfucker with your limit breaks all ready to go before the fight. That's pretty good. I'm gonna save that. So now I'm just gonna have Jimmy just pure people. Come 
on, asshole. Fucking transform already, fucker. I'm gonna see what this does. If it transforms, I'm just gonna do a physical attack. Nope. Damn. Come on, come on, come on, bitch. Come on, motherfucker. Here we go, guys. Magic Man, now we gotta use physical attacks. Hope his blade being fucks him up. This is number six. Yeah, good shot. Seal evil. Yeah, but that's what I wanted from the start. But it should paralyze them. Yep. That's why I switched it, guys. I can use deck blow against him. Humble the shit out of this motherfucker. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. If you guys are better prepared to fight physical attacks, I remember like always struggling with his physical attacks. Um, but either or, you guys gotta be prepared for this. Key to the basement. That actually was a summon right here. Auden Materia. Cosmo Memory was the one that we got for beating her. Alright, look at that. We, we fucking handled business, guys. Now, let's go see um, our boy in the basement. I should probably leave first and save it. I may have to run from a few battles here. Physical attacks won't hurt him. What I'm gonna do first is leave the mansion and just save it real quick because these guys, I, I should actually restore my MP too. There we go. I don't wanna die by these things and fight that big fucking, big motherfucker again. Did I use grenade bomb? I think I used grenade bomb once in that last fight. I didn't mark it down. Or I mark it down twice. I don't give a shit. Come on, cocksucker. Die already. Thank you. Yeah, the bosses here are a bunch of motherfuckers, guys. Let's go to the inn, and I'm gonna rest up, and I'm going to save it before I continue through this mansion, because it's just too tough. Inn's right here, correct? Hey, I'm trying to talk to you, asshole. Give me a room.
All right, let's go back. There's probably items here that I can get, but I'm, I'm just gonna avoid most of them because I don't want to fight. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, boys, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. It's not a real good look. Now I'm, I'm silenced and I can't use magic. It's the first time I ran, guys. I'm a little ashamed of myself. I'm just gonna run. I'm not gonna keep fighting. Oh, no. Uh, Alright, whatever. Oop, going the wrong way. Hear that music? That's the door that we need the key on that we just walked through. Without it, we can't talk to this motherfucker. Wake up! To wake me from the nightmare. Who is it? I don't know you. You must leave. You were having a nightmare. You'll dream about a bad thing if you sleep in a place like this. Hmm. A nightmare? My long sleep has given me time to atone. What are you saying? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get the fuck out. This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. Let's say that again. Do you know something? Talk about Sephiroth. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a night, it's not a dream, it's for real. Sephiroth has lost his mind. He found the secrets hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth. You know Sephiroth? We both said at the same time. Let me get bitch to stand in the background just watching this freak in that coffin. You start first. Alright. Here's me telling my story about Sephiroth, and it's really quick. Hmm. That's how it was. Too bad I couldn't do that back at Calm. So Sephiroth knows he was created five years ago and about the Genova Project. He was missing, but he just recently reappeared. And he has taken many lives and is seeking the promised land. Now it's your turn. Sorry, I cannot speak. And Vincent is such a badass. That's dirty. You tell him again, Hoggle. Scratch his ass. Hearing your story to that another sin for me. More nightmares shall come to me now than I previously had. Now please leave. How the fuck did you do that? Asshole, get the fuck out. You're still here. Who are you? At least tell us your name. I was with Shinra Manufacturing, Man Manufacturing and Administration Research, also known as the Turks. Vincent is just like Yuffie, totally optional in this game. Actually, when you beat the game, it goes to some kind of like movie thing, CGI or whatever the fuck you want to call it back then. And Vincent and Yuffie are not in it. So guys, there's only one man to name this guy, and he totally reminds me of this person. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Ryu to the group. A freak that sleeps in coffins. Ryu. The Turks? Formerly the Turks. I have no affiliation with the Shinra now. And you? Jimmy A, formerly a soldier. You were also the Shinra. Then do you know Lucera? 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 Who names are fucking kid that? Come on. The woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. Whoa! Gave birth? Wasn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong, but it's just a theory. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lurs Lucera? Lucera? She's called Lucifer. 
She was assistant to Professor Gas of the Genova Project. Beautiful Lursera. A human experiment? There was no way to cancel the experiment. I could not stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. So your punishment was to sleep. That's strange. Way to go, Hoggle. You ruined my friend's mood. Let me sleep. Alright. So once you get all that shit down, you can leave. Or if you want to see Sephiroth. It's funny because I remember coming back to this part like much later. In, I skipped this part. I came back to this part much later in the game. And Sephiroth was still here. Sephiroth! Being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? I don't even know what a reunion is. Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion. Become an calamity from the skies. Genova, a calamity from the skies? You mean she wasn't an agent? I see. I don't think you have the right to participate. I will go north past Mount Nibble. If you wish to know, then follow. Reunion? Climbing from the sky? Am I saying that right? Oh! Oh! My heart! Alright, what you throw at me, asshole? Destruct? I think I have that one. Oh, maybe I don't. Nah, I don't have any more room for it anyways. Alright, what's over here? Sephiroth, put your goddamn books away, you fucking bum. Alright, so let's just get the hell out of here. Any random battles will just escape from the mansion. Wait! If I go with you, will I meet Hojo? Don't know, but we're after him and Sephiroth, so I guess sooner or later. Lucera. We'll just call Lucifer from now on. Alright, I decided to go with you. That sure was a quick change of heart. Being a former Turk, I may be of help. Alright then. Welcome to the crew, motherfucker. So, according to my calculations, there is one more character left in the game, and we will meet him right after Mount Nibble. So, a few episodes from now, guys. Um, maybe next episode, who knows? Oh, wrong button. Maybe I can fight these guys. I guess the bats aren't too bad to fight. They're just a pain in the ass. It really all, I mean, I'm, I'm, it really all depends on how much experience they give me. Shit, they're still alive. All level up, that's what I like, baby. These guys I might run from. I don't feel like fighting these motherfuckers. Pumpkin head. Well, maybe I will fight him.
Alright, I'm running. Come on! Am I playing Final Fantasy 7 or Final Fantasy 2? Come on! This is bullshit! Might as well just fucking try to kill him now. It is good experience points, guys, but the fights are just sometimes not worth doing, guys. Alright, at least we're out of here. Let's talk to these two assholes. Colin, Sephiroth, blah 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 blah. Great Sephiroth left us. Those guys weren't there before, were they? So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave the buggy behind. We'll walk through here, go to that cave, but you know what? Let's give it a save. I. We did save it after the lost number of fight, I think. Save and save often, guys. You never know when the power is going to go out. Alright, this is Mount Nibble. Or Nibble, whatever you want to call it. Some good enemies to fight on here. There is a cool boss fight coming up. It's also pretty challenging, but um, very weak to Lightman. We'll probably see him next episode. I actually may grind a little bit before I fight him. It all depends on what experience these guys give me. Who has bolts? I think I'm going to give... Take Quake. Take the all the way from Quake and give it to Bolt. For uh, the, uh, death, for, uh, death Mountain. Wrong video game. For, um... um uh, as long as I'm on Mount Nibble. Alright, so let's... Go to bits. Take the all... Alright. Yeah, Quake's almost up. How did it all grow on me? There we go, that one has three. Alright, we'll keep that. Rune Blade, this is one of uh, Jimmy's weapons. So, our growth is double, but we have no attachment so which is fine for now because we don't have anything else besides cure I gotta find out what growth double is still a high potion to Jimmy A. I don't want to use Blade Beam yet. Yikes. Good thing I'm using the high potion here. Yeah, you see how it misses?
Ice is pretty effective. Oh, I want to grind with, um, Stall Talk. <sighs> Probably a little too late to change it now, guys. Let's use one of our limit breaks. Those things are powerful as fuck. Oh, I used Blade Beam, so that's seven. Should be one more time we should get the new, uh, new limit level. Nope, never mind, guys. I must have miscounted somewhere. Klim Hazard. Or Climb Hazard. Attacks one opponent. Pretty powerful attack. Um, man, we are fucking growing. We are really going through Cloud on uh, Jimmy's uh, limit breaks. Okay, what's up here? Anything important up here? Oh, there's an item up there. Can use grenade bomb. I, I just feel like it's pointless to use that. But that was item number four or five with grenade bomb. And I do plan on... Oh, all level up. That's good. And I do plan on ending the episode next save point. Could be a little bit of ways away just because of the random encounters in this in this area. Cause item better be fucking worth it. Plus Brett? Is that a freak weapon? Yeah, it's a freak weapon. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so I, I usually don't get that weapon, because I never notice that you can really go up here. See why I rather avoid it too. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this. Although I'm gonna be honest, as soon as I'm off this mountain, this is gonna be the last time I'm probably gonna grind with Hoggle. It's totally pointless. I 
you're gonna find out very soon why. Hey guys, please, if, if you watch the story, if you know what happens in the game, please don't ruin it for anyone else who is watching it for the first time. No one likes a party pooper. Someone fixed the bridge, by the way. I wonder who would want to fix this piece of shit bridge. Oh, here's a big motherfucker. Maybe it was this motherfucker that did it. Yeah, I gotta use long range. Zoo feels fury. There we go, motherfucker. Um, hold on. And those pipes will give you the secret items. I wonder if it says it right here. Okay, these to the ground in front of the water. Okay, so don't go to shoot one. I should probably just kick down this ladder first, right? There, now I can go down there no problem. Shoot four drops me off at a, a on the ledge with another all material from what I'm reading. And bits player's guide does not make me cheating. Just like using the W item material to get weapons is not cheating. Oh, this fight's a motherfucker. Can I run? Well, my guys are frozen. The fuck off, you motherfucker. There we go. So let me go down and shoot four. And then I'll go down the other, um, I'll go down the other ones. Alright, I'm gonna lose sense for now. And shortly past, in Rocket Town, shortly past this area, we will meet the final character, I think. Um, there is a material we can buy called, I think it's called Barrier. And that's something that I want to attach an all to, so. That's very important. Now, how many tents do I have? I got a lot. So, I'm going to end it here, guys. I may grind a little bit. Hold on a second before I end it here. Let me try it with Stall Talk and Freak. This may be a mistake. Uh, 
Oh man, that's not good. Who's the other guy? Stall talk. I may give stall talk all three um alls. So give him Earth. But I should really give Freak another magic though, right? Well, he got lightning, so that's something that I need him to do. I'll give him enemy skill. You know what? Because we're going to learn an enemy skill called uh, Trying, which is a lightning attack. So I'm going to switch. Give Bolt to Stall Talk. And if I learn it, Freak will at least be able to use Trying on his ass. Alright. Let's save it, guys. Again, I may do some grinding, I may not. Depends how I feel in the morning. Um, I may be a little bit busy tomorrow to actually even play this, but guys, thank you so much for all the support you give me. Game's really, really getting good. Um, we are getting near the end of disc one. I know this is only... What fucking part is this? I think this is part 16. Like, we got a lot more parts to go. Um, but we are almost done with this one. Guys, I'm loving the series. I'm loving the game. Um, I hope you are too. And I hope to see you all here next time. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.